Let's marvel at how Seth Carter treats people who try to help him. We abandon a truck in their yard. We tear the screen door off their house. We break their windows. But, oh, that's nothing. Just wait and see. Oh, look. We rot their floor out and replace it with the crappiest material we can get their hand, our hands on. We tear their pantry closet doors off the hinges and wreck all the shelves. We leave the brand new refrigerator laid out like this. Oh yeah, you really can't believe the filth in here. Oh, but it gets worse. Your table and chairs? Nope, had six chairs like those that one, I should say. The others are obviously gone. Um, appliances are gone. Antiques. This was a brand new stove. Brand new. Never had been used except to boil a tea kettle a couple of times. They broke the glass out of the stove and put this, whatever it is, it's glued on there. I can't get it off. The knobs are broken or burned or gone. Jesus. And and still, it, it, it just continues to get better as we go. Oh, yeah. So, this would be the matching leather sofa and chair that I got from my mom the summer before she moved out, went to the nursing home. But you can see what happens. You have 350-pound people. We got bedrooms, doors knocked off the hinges. This place was clean and tight when they moved in here. All the work I'd done. In addition to disposing of everything that belonged to my mother, including family history going back a couple hundred years that can never be replaced. This is my lovely laundry room. <sighs> Gotta love it when they stick lumber in your washer. <sighs> what you want to think about what's happened to this furnace closet. Oh, this is by far my favorite part. This mattress and box spring were brand new. They were brand new. We've got walls caved in here, above the bed. Animals, fucking animals. We got, oh yeah, drug paraphernalia. God only knows what else in here. Unbelievable, Seth. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Closet's all trashed. I want to hurt him. She has more caved in walls. I can't even begin. More broken windows. More broken walls. Animals. Animals. More drug paraphernalia, yeah. Didn't have money to pay his bills, but boy, he sure never missed out on his weed. 
No, sir. Don't try to get between a boy and his medicine. Medicine. Hmm. What else we got in here? It'd be nice if we could find some self-adhering electrodes. Nope, that wasn't ready really yet. Oh, but it just continues to get better when we've surpassed all of the drug paraphernalia and garbage and filth. Then we get to the bathroom. You can see where the back corner over there is completely caved in. Uh, the floor, they've just destroyed this as well and hammered down. God only knows what this crap is to... The filth. Oh, yeah. This is the best part. Here we have a nice pile of crap, skid mark toilet paper. And the bathtub is about half as full, half full of the same as well. So, yeah, let's just recap one more time. The lovely, lovely, lovely way that my family, my nephew, my only deceased sister's son, this, this is how he treats family, family who tried to help him. I want to be surprised. Ironing boards, irons, all of the things that I spent good money on.